In this lecture, we'll be discussing process object in Node.js. So process object basically exposes many of the functions and properties about the specific process running on the current instance of Node. So over here, what we'll do is we'll simply type Node, press enter, and inside the REPL mode, we'll say global dot process and press enter and there you go you're seeing a long list of variables and modules version over here you can see version 4.2.3 that's the version that we have installed on our server and the title coming up over here the modules that are there so this is what exactly we have for our current node process now if i go ahead and try to check out this thing that is the version specifically all i need to do is write global dot process dot version and press enter this will specifically give me the current installed version if i just update it with versions you'll see what other modules or dependencies are there in the node stack that is installed so we have HTTP parser, node, v8, UV, zlib, RS, ICU, modules, OpenSSL, and the versions as well. Now if I have to find out the current working directory, all I need to do is write process.cwd. And notice that it's a function. So that's why we have empty braces. Press enter. And you will have the directory coming up over here code demo node.js is the name of the directory now one thing i would like to show you over here usually in ripple mode if i create a function like this use a equal to function and here let's pass a parameter greet and then let's go ahead and write console.log and in this what we'll do is we'll simply log the greet variable and close this function press enter now and after that just call the user function so we'll say user and here we'll pass welcome press enter and there you're seeing the message coming up as welcome now I can do the same thing using the process standard write method. So just load this function, greet, press enter. And here, instead of writing console.log, what we'll do is we'll say process.stdout, that is standard output, dot write. Now the write simply writes on the standard output, the screen, and it does not brings you to the next line or new line so we'll be adding that new line to it to match the output that we have with console.log so here we'll say greet and then we'll add the new line character over here like this semicolon press enter and then close it press enter again and now call user with the same welcome message enter and there you go one of the other uses of process object is used to pick up arguments that were passed along the command line to our node application for instance i've created a file over here called argument.js and all it's doing is accessing the arguments passed on the console so here process dot argv so that maintains the collection of arguments and then we are applying for each on that here in the function we have value and the index so we're saying index position and then the content at that index position the value is going to have that content so if i go here and first of all let's exit from the ripple mode so here if I write it in this way, node, then the file args.js, and let's say welcome node. Press enter. So you'll notice that there are four 
arguments here. The first argument that is at index position 0 is the node itself, node exe. The second argument at index position 1 is the file which we called, that is args.js. And then we have second and third index positions where the actual parameters that we passed are shown. So if we have a program where we need to access the values that were passed, we'll start with index position 2 onwards. Next, what we'll do is we'll be taking a look at another process function that is next tick. So what next tick does is it skips the first pass and tells node that on next pass do call this function. So if I have a file, let's say nexttech.js, here what you're seeing is first of all we're seeing begin and then we are making use of the next tick. All it's doing is calling a function and logging in the console saying next tick called. And then the last line that we have is console.log processed. So if I now go ahead and run this over here, in this way, node, and then next tick.js, press enter, you'll see begin is getting called first. After that, we are having processed, and then we are having next tick called. Now, why that is happening? As we all know that node is basically an event loop processor. We have an event loop which keeps on going and uh, it runs through and it looks for events that can be executed. And here, next tick function skips the first pass. So here, if you take a look at the function, it's skipping the first pass. That is, it's not doing anything but just saying that next time when this gets called, execute this function. So in an event loop, this is coming at the third position if there are three events to be executed. The first one being begin, the second one being processed, and the third one is this next tick called. So that's how next tick function works. So that was a little introduction about process object in Node.js.